But right now, we're going to get into the Q&A, answer all your questions, and we'll go from there. All right, let's, uh, let's jump in. Banners. All right. <laughs> Giovanni says, if CBDCs are coming, then who's going to provide data? Chainlink? Well, CBDCs, as far as like pulling out outside uh, data sources, like you don't need outside data sources for CBDCs. I mean, well, maybe you could. Yeah, maybe they could actually, if they want to pull in like your your passport, your uh, people always talk about your vaccine passport information, start shutting things off. Yeah, perhaps. So, but usually what they do, if, if it's a government run CBDC, they're not going to use some outside brand uh, Oracle to pull any outside data. They'll just spin it up themselves and that's it. Oh. Tyler says, not only will digital assets not survive, exchanges will need to KYC to offer securities. It will change the landscape overnight. Exchanges already do that. Exchanges already have know your customer. Have you, I don't know how many exchanges everybody signed up for, but every single one up here in the States, it is your identification. It is your full name, last name. It is your address. It is your social security number. That's how it is. And some of, some of you will say, well, I didn't do that. And I did this and this. Well, congratulations. But uh, here in the United States, not, nothing's going to change. And uh, so I don't see the, again, I'll, I'll say it again. Here's what I think is going to happen. The SEC and the CFTC are going to work together. They're going to overregulate because Sam Bakeman fried and his uh, merry band of, of uh, what's the nice word to say? His group, we'll just say, uh, they screwed everybody. And because of that, they're going to really be heavy handed in that. And they're going to probably go a little bit too hard as to what is a security, what is not a security, what is a commodity, and so on and so forth. You're going to have a lot of these uh, crypto projects, you know, 250 and below not make it because they're scams anyhow. And they don't do anything. They have no real utility and they can't really keep up and they don't have the money and the, money and the funds to actually pay the lawyers to register with the SEC. Also, they don't have the money and the funds to deal with the fines that the, the SEC is going to dole out because having a, an unregistered ICO, which is what they all did. So what they're going to do is these places, the top crypto products actually do something and have uh, a pretty good business sense and can keep afloat. They're going to absorb the smaller ones. They're going to absorb their workers, uh, their engineers, the good ones, not the crappy ones. And then they're going to start to consolidate, just like how the businesses work here. And then, of course, from there, then they're going to pay the fines. EOS already did that in 2019. I think they paid $27 million after making $4.1 billion. The exchanges are going to have to register. Uh, everything that they've done as far as like register for, to sell securities, just like what Robinhood does because they sell securities or equities. Uh, they're called stocks. And then we're just going to go from there. It's going to suck for them. It's going to suck for us a little bit. But uh, in all honesty, the good ones will prevail, just like what's going on in this space. That's it. <laughs> Don't fud me, bro. Someone said there was a, yeah, Adam says, hello, no FUD, please. I got to tell you, I'm going to FUD more in 2023 than I ever have. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. How many times have we said, don't spread FUD? Because that's fear and uncertainty, doubt. We don't want to hear that nonsense. Well, guess what? If more of us would have spread FUD, we would have looked at these crappy exchanges a little bit closer. And maybe we would have gotten out of these exchanges a little bit quicker. But no, no, no. You know, keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything. Listen to us, diamond hands, and just go with the flow because don't spread any kind of rumors or FUD. Maybe we should. I mean, if you're if you're on the up and up and legit, you shouldn't have an issue with coming out and going, okay, this is FUD and this is why. And then we got this, this, and this. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Goodbye. You know, so just saying. Give me all the facts. I try to kneel. I try. I don't get it right all the time but I do try. <laughs> Gonna start a blockchain called Kitchen. Then a token will be called Sync. It'll be proof of wash, W. Giovanni says it pays not to be greedy. Absolutely. 
Uh, does it matter make money in DeFi? What happens in DeFi stays in DeFi. I'm going to steal that one, Ron. It's pretty funny. Uh, Giovanni says, Rob, thanks for the last 2021 Christmas. I listened to you and took my profits. Now here we are. Great. Take your profits, and it's nice to have cash on the side. Uh, hey, Rob, have you heard about Seller Network? I have not. Fraudsters, Canada. Meta Girl says, I never get notifications you're going live. I'm here daily after the fact of the content. Thank you. YouTube sometimes tells people, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just happy it exists. Ah, hey, Rob, will you cover the Everdome launch tomorrow? Yeah, probably so. Mm, let's see. Rasting says, such a clickbait title. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Like, if you think it's, I can't make it more simple than what it is. So, did you click on it? You did. Did you find it interesting? Well, you're here right now. So, calm down. Uh, let's see. Bobby shouts, any thoughts on the Theta main launch? I will uh, have to cover that, matter of fact. I still own Theta. Still own a good amount. So, I don't know if it's a reorg or... I haven't, I haven't really paid attention to it, honestly. It's my fault. I will definitely do that. Thank you, Bobby, for letting me know. <laughs> I believe that was a joke. Okay. Maybe just me. I'm very, I'm very angry today because uh, I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten anything. Uh, it's just, uh, just the way that I do things. Sometimes, some days it works out pretty well. And some days it doesn't. <laughs> If Trueflation was honest, it would have been 15 to 20%. Oh, for the UK. Ooh. Marky Searcy, a legend. You never get broke taking profits. It's true. Jojo Crawdaddy. Hello, Rob. I'm new here. Well, thanks for coming by. If you're here now, congratulations. Man, that's pretty good. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people that come in new, they come in, in the bull market. Or they tell me what a moron I am because they they tell me that the the crypto market will go up forever and I don't know what I'm talking about. You've not been here since 2017, but you know whatever. <laughs> uh, fun, uplifting, delightful. <laughs> I'll just use that one. Guns and loaded. That's fun. There are good times and there are bad times, children. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. I think the, I guess it depends. Like if you're in the, if you're in the, the market for a house, is this good times? Especially like six months when everything just collapses in six months to a year and you see, you see uh, the house prices go like super far down. That's probably good for you. But if you're a homeowner, of course it's uh it's a lot of stress, homeowner. If you're if you're selling your house, I should say. So it just depends. There's always a buyer and a seller, and some people love it, and some people hate it. That's all I look at it. That's how I see it. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Dez. Hello, Med Cow. Started crypto in March. I don't get all the hype. I don't either. So the thing is, like, with uh, with the hype. Yeah, you know. You, it's weird to start right now, you know, uh, but you just have to understand that there's that right now, like if you're starting right now, you probably think, man, this place sucks because nothing ever goes up or just keeps going down. And uh, you're like, why would I be here? And unfortunately, this is the right time to be here. It doesn't seem like it because it should be like, hey, the price is going up. I should be here. This is great. I think if you're here for two, three, four years, you just kind of just wallow into it. Uh, it's actually a great time, but it just seems weird because it's the exact opposite of probably what you've been told your entire life. Uh, Teslas are cheaply made. <laughs> this is true. I don't suffer fools. Also, I'm really bad at uh, pinpointing sarcasm in text. <laughs> uh, Cardigan B. Couple con. I think that's it. I don't think there's many, many questions. Ah, millions got a good question. Did you lose any money on Voyager? 
FTX or Celsius? FTX, no, because you know four months ago, uh, I left uh, a big chunk of, of crypto in my custody account on Celsius. And there's a timeline in the description, which I always talk about. Uh, let's see, let me show you. So here's the timeline for me. So on June 12th, I just came back from consensus. I did a video in the morning and I said, there's something wrong with Celsius. You should probably take, if you don't like it, you should probably take your crypto off of it. And then at like 10 hours later, all the withdrawals were frozen, including my own. It's weird because I did a test transaction of like uh, 0.2 Bitcoin. And that one went through. And then when I took the rest of my Bitcoin off, it just didn't go through. All right. So got a, got a nice six figure stuck on there. And then uh, uh, moving forward, uh, I put the rules up on June 20th, June 22nd. I talked about taking all the crypto off, off of Voyager. And here's the video links so you can verify it. And then two weeks later, they froze the withdrawals. I did, <clears throat> I did much better on that one, except I didn't, I didn't sell my VGX token, so. I got five figures on there instead of six figures. So I'm learning, doing better. And then uh, because of those rules you see right by you, you know, don't leave any exchanges. I haven't had anything exchanges for like three, four months. I mean, I buy a little bit and I take it off. So I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't stressing BlockFi or FTX or anything because I was good. It just takes a little while. So good question. Ah. Uh, Abdurrahman Khan, do you think Binance will win the bid for Voyager? Maybe. I've had uh, DJ Crypto reach out who said that uh, it's a trash, it's a it's a trash offer, and there's better offers out there. So we'll see. I'm supposed to be talking to somebody about that today or tomorrow. But in all honesty, I I don't know who else has the deeper pockets than than Binance to purchase Voyager. And I don't think that you can uh, restart Voyager the way it is. Uh, there was a, uh, a Voyager UCC meeting with all the lawyers on uh, Twitter spaces. And one of the lawyers said, look, he goes, you can't just restart Voyager because they were illegally operating in certain states in the, United, in, the, in the US and they knew it. And that's why they had the cease and desist letters. They thought that they could work it out later, but now that they went uh, into chapter 11, if they come back, all the states will go after them and say, you can't do this, can't do this. So, just get it out of your head that Voyager is going to come back. It's not. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. Hey, expats are watching you. <laughs> Poopy. <laughs> Poopy man 98. DJ is angry at the world, except Steve. Everybody's angry these days. I mean, I'm not really. I'm just angry because I can't eat. I'm doing this... Uh, intermittent fasting, which I've done for like eight years, but now I'm doing this one meal a day thing. It's, it's brutal sometimes, but it's good for your health, they say. Uh, Alex says, Rob, what percentage, what percentage are you invested in gaming crypto or planning to invest? I've got, well, again, so Kishi is a, is a, not a large hold, but a, a nice hold for me. I think that's a, a great project. I talked about it on Dan Degen. Um, I've got some, I've got some metaverse plays, but then I've got some, uh, gala tokens that I have. I think gala's a, gala's a pretty good, a pretty good, uh, format or a pretty good game operator or company. But, you know, a lot of these games, you have to understand, like, if you see, if you look at the themes for like a lot of these NFT games and crypto gaming, you have to take a look at what's the base layer. You know, what are they building on? And Polygon is one of those. And that's why I invest. I've been investing even through this bear market, my micro DCing, I still buy Polygon because a lot of things are being built on that. Genso Kishi being one of them. And um, I mean, they even have um, Polygon Labs, which they pull the Web 2 solutions, the Web 2 gaming into Web 3. I think it'll be big. That's why I've, uh, I just... Don't really know all the projects. So I just say, well, I don't know them. So I'll just invest on what they build on. <laughs> Jupiter Mojo says, Rob, wow, five figures, five figures Luna and six figures Celsius. We both paid similar for our education. Yeah, we'll never, you know what's great about that is that now, like, that's a lesson you'll never forget. Like, if you just avoided it, it's not as painful. 
So you don't really talk about it too much. But if you if you live through it and it causes you pain, then you can remind it. It stays in your memory for a long time. And then so the people that are going to come after us, we are the new stewards. We are the new people who have to help the, the other people not make the same mistakes that we made. So when everybody's complaining about it, it's hard to take my crypto off the exchanges. Just remind, remind them, I got three reasons why you're going to do it and you're going to stop complaining. And those are Voyager, Celsius, and FTX. So if you do that, remind them of that, that'd be great. That would help me out too. And that could, that could help everybody. Ripple could bid for Voyager. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> ben, who will win the World Cup? I don't even know who's playing. I think Mexico tied. Argentina is looking pretty good, but uh, I haven't been following it too much. We'll see. I think that's, a, that's probably the better question to ask. Who won the World Cup? Who wants to gamble on it? Uh, ben, we got to talk later. Hey, Rob, what are your thoughts on BitBoy going here with SBF? That's going to be a train wreck. What is he thinking? Um, there's two ways to look at that. First of all, hey, BitBoy's, BitBoy's doing something. Good for him, right? He's getting out there, pressing the flesh, making sure that uh, things happen. Great. But then, uh, you know, I mean, we all want to know what happened. But, I mean, what's he going to – he was lying to us the whole time. So if – BitBoy can extract any kind of information that's interesting, sure. But it's really just entertainment. Again, we must focus on the things that we can change. We can't change FTX. Everybody got screwed. And that's just how it's going to be. Um, what can we change? Well, we can take a look at the market and understand why it's important to uh, have a plan moving forward uh, to not do these same mistakes and just get our, our mental aspect right as far as an investor. I think that's the bigger thing. Like, if you want to be entertained, that's cool. That's an entertaining thing. But again, it's like, uh, like I give the example of uh, like the Kardashians. You know, people love the Kardashians because they're entertaining, not because they have massive utility. Just how it is. Ah, Namibia for the World Cup win. Ooh. Margie's got a great question. Will we be able to claim the lost money off taxes or bankruptcy? So good news. I partnered up with Coin Ledger, the tax software company, and we're going to bring in uh, real CPAs who specialize in crypto and digital assets. And we're going to do a couple of uh, educational series videos where you can ask them that exact question. Now, we're going to bring in multiple because every, I mean, CPAs, it's kind of, it's, they mostly agree on a lot of things, but on these ones, because it's so such a gray area, we thought it best to bring in multiple. So I'll let everybody know when that actually happens. But yeah, it's a good question. Vicky, I do the fasting when we live for one week. I mean, it makes you appreciate food, I'll tell you that. What? You don't watch Ben? That's okay. A lot of people on Ben's channel won't watch me. I like Ben's titles. They're so boring. And no one will ever convince, no one will ever say Ben's titles are clickbait, that's for sure. But yet, look, there's an example of like someone who's like, he, 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 like he has the same microphone in his computer. It's the same room. There's no sweet green screen like I have. And uh, no great lighting. And Ben's crushing it over there on his channel. <laughs> Polygon is the king. Ah, Trevor. I bought my first Bitcoin in January 21. It's been a rough ride, but due to be honest, I'm very grateful to have seen the bull run. That's a good way to look at it. And now the bear market. Learned the fundamentals of crypto ever since. Been DCing since. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, just remember to take some profits along the way. And that's it. Bicky says you should get into Cornucopias. Bicky, I think it was you who introduced me to uh, Rob and the crew over there at Cornucopias. We did a nice video. Good guys. And they actually have a working product, which is amazing to me. Like, like you could actually play it. Uh, they rolled that out the last doc convention. Dr. Payne finally made it. Dr. Payne. I have a whole uh, gala, Jasmine. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Gary says, uh, Hey, Rob, yesterday he said he'd give me today. I appreciate you. Well, it is time. It's that time, folks. Let's uh, whip out some wrenches. 
Let's see. Uh, Gary, I saw you, and now I don't see you. Where'd you go? Okay, give it a couple of seconds there. I did not know that. Uh, Celsius. Celsius did a great job and got me off the exchanges. Yep. Brazil or Spain? Mm, it's not over yet. Who's playing right now? And Jay, today I learned from mistakes. Who's playing right now? Let's see. Hold the cup. Uh, well, here's the FIFA website. Doesn't say. Ah, let me just have you guys tell me. Ah, oh, man, that's a lot of question. Ooh, I'm going to watch this one. USA, I ran an hour and a, and a half. I got to go to the condo. We just got some new doors. I to stain them. Mm, yeah, thank you, Robert. You're exactly right. There's no good for schedules. I ran up play USA. Ugh. Sorry, my man. I remember those days. Where I had to plow my driveway this morning and ready to visit. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a fan of, uh, of snow. That's why I live here. <laughs> Brian Bravo. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? That's a, that's a, a reference to Animal House. Ah, it's a great classic movie. Let's see. All right. Metal Girl. Bob, where'd you go? Uh, Old Bear has already won. Yeah, no alcohol in the World Cup this year. I think you can get alcohol, but you have to, you can't get it in the stadium. Big difference. Big, big difference. And of course, I hear there's more fights and things going on, even without the alcohol. So, whatever. Mm. Cardigan B. Oh, I just saw you. Now you're gone. All right. Say it again. I'll get you. I'll get you the wrench. Uh, I'll video you, Ilian. Curiosity, how much of the house where you live now cost? The view is wonderful. Well, I can tell you that it cost me. Well, the valuation is seven figures. But I don't know if if the value's gone down at all. I can tell you this, it's uh, it's in a great location, it's a nice neighborhood and everything else, but um, it's an old house and uh, it's costing us a good amount of money to repair, but it's just how it goes with old houses, older houses. Speaking of which, I'm gonna give you guys some motivation. So, um, Brenda, she's the um, real estate agent that sold us the house. She's got a bunch of different properties that are coming that are for sale right now. What I'm going to start to doing is give people some motivation uh, to help you guys kind of, you know, take a look forward. I'm going to start showing you some properties here in, in Puerto Rico, just so you can say, maybe I'd want to visit that, or maybe I'd want to at some point invest into uh, short-term rentals in that property or something like that. Let me just think about that because there's some nice properties here. And that's what we do. We don't like, as far as like investments, um, to make sure everybody understands, I don't, um, I don't concentrate my wealth. I try to diversify as much as possible. Concentration of wealth, people will say, you know, that's what makes you wealthy, and then diversification of what keeps wealth. I couldn't agree more. So, like for here, oops, here's my my diversification. I got a lot of cash. I got a lot of. Not a lot. I got a, I'm 24% cash, about a quarter of everything I, I have right now is in cash. 
Uh, stables, I got out of those because I'm worried about the Tether USDC situation. Not USDC, just the Tether. I'd never, I, I just have a funny feeling about it. It's And, and uh, I've been proven wrong every time. So don't say Tether's going to collapse. I have no idea. But uh, every time I think it is, it's still holds its peg. I got some DJ and crypto plays. Masterworks, of course, is the fractionalized shares of artwork. Land, most of it's in real estate, land and properties for short and long-term rentals. The Amazon business, some staking, 1% is in my Roth IRA and 5% roughly is in um, uh, stocks. And then of course over here, like this is just the staking part, you know, uh, this is outside of my actual crypto holdings. I don't own like hold a ton, a ton of crypto, but it's a sizable amount as well. So I try to get it all diversified because you really want to, Really what it comes down to is this. You want a, a, a balanced portfolio, I think. Not financial advice. This, this is what works for me. Again, some people just concentrate. They bought all gold and silver. That's cool. You can do that. But I always feel like when, when something goes down in the market, you want something else to go up. When something goes up, well, you want it to go up even higher. But again, it's just, just trying to balance yourself out. That's it. It makes me be able to breathe at night when I'm like, okay, well, you know, crypto went down 40% this week, but thank God I've got, you know, we've got uh, multiple places where people are checking in for short-term rentals or Airbnb or Verbo. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan Dijon. Man, two years. William, that's a long time. Thank you. Rob, you emailed your congressman to encourage reasonable regulations. You know what's great about my, not my congressman, but my senator is Ted Cruz. So he's the only, he's like one of the few senators that get it. I got to look up uh, the other ones. Yeah, but Payne's got a good, got a good point. You people and you're cursing. Would housing be on a different YouTube channel? No, I'm just going to put it at the very end. Like, hey, here's a nice property and uh, this is what's available. And that would be like, hey, I could live there. It's kind of hard to, like, right now it's kind of hard just to say, well, why would I stick around this this place for two or three years in crypto? And what am I going to get for it, right? It's kind of hard to kind of do that. I mean, you can do it. But sometimes, like, you want to see, like, well, you know, what's the goal here? You know, what's my, what I want to be, what I want to do with this money? And, of course, you can, you know, gains can be gotten other gains. Diversification. And I'll show you some things that I do. That's all. Hey, Benny. Uh, as far as like Deadless Wallet, yeah. So if we're talking about wallets and uh, storage, I personally like my ledger. This is right here. I also like uh, Deadless Wallet for staking Cardano or moving Cardano. And I know it's a, it's a real pain because you have to download everything, but it's I think it's robust and it has a lot of good features and I like it. And it's very easy. To, to me, it's very easy to use. Dylan LeClaire is asking questions about being. Yeah. I mean, we, I ask questions about Binance as well. Yeah. Dr. Payne says it's correct. Technically, your crypto never leaves the blockchain. Exactly. It's your certificates you store in the hardware wallet and uh, access. It's just all it is is just a public ledger. That's all it is. What does a wrench mean? Great question, William. So a wrench is a moderator. And those are the, I give a lot of people access to moderate the chats because we get a lot of uh, spam and that's it. One, one thing is that if I don't encourage uh, the wrenches to silence anybody who disagrees with me because that's what makes the world go round. And of course I get to see if, and I never have this problem actually, is uh, when people or a moderator will will stop somebody from saying something like, Rob's a shill. And then I'll, All right. And then we get to talk about that. So, um, but yeah, the moderators just pretty much, they help me out with keeping out the, the scam bots. Oh, Jayung Chow. So BlockFi is a credit FTX that lent to Alameda. That lent to Emergent, which is a shell company owned by SPF, that bought Robinhood shares that were pledged as collateral to guarantee a block. Pretty much. Ah. 
Ooh, England versus Wales today. That'd be a good one. Algorand. Algorand hasn't pumped. Everything's been pumping. Soul has got to get back up. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Deron Wilkes says, Robin's still trying to get the whole ledger thing figured out. Can I put my card on directly on that? Is it not the right play? You can do it, but what I do is you can use Daedalus Wallet and you can secure it with your ledger. So Deron, Darren, Deron, a a Ron, Deron. So what I would do is uh, if, if the ledger thing is trying to figure it all out, go to this website. Can anybody tell me, can anybody tell me what I'm going to talk about next? This website. Dan teaches crypto, 100% free. And just sign up here. I just use your email. And uh, I don't spam you or anything. I just tell you when I upload new videos. Here's the members area. And uh, go to safety. And then you know, I'll, I'll talk about the ledger and how to use it. What's a public private key? Setting up your ledger. Setting up your ledger live app. Transferring crypto assets, bleeding your story now. All the things you want to know about that. And then specifically about Cardano, go to the module five. How do I stake cryptos? Or just the how do I? How do I use the MetaMask wallet? How do you use simple swap? Uh, how do I stake Theta? How do I stake Cardano? This is the one you want to watch. It's about, oh, it's only 22 minutes. Pretty good. And then it'll tell you all the things. So it'll tell you all the options you have and go from there. What? Canada scored their first World Cup goal ever. They lost two games. <laughs> that sucks. Gary, that's the one. Sorry, I was looking for the wrong person. Gary. Gary. Rusty Bot, you already got one. Uh, Robert's got one as far as a wrench goes. I'm not somebody missing it. Let's see. Gary, say something again. Oh, wow, it's dinner time. Daniel says, it's a good question. Where'd you go, Daniel? Okay. Daniel says, Rob, do you... Do you stake your, your crypto from all your ledgers or just from one? Not all of them. I, I, I have, so there's, so I use one for a couple different ones like uh, Cardano and the other one, Cosmos. And then the other one is for Near. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you want to just use one, just use one. You can, you know, spread them out. Just the big thing is don't lose your <clears throat> mnemonic keys, mnemonic phrase. Uh, cool network says, Rob, can US citizens get a home loan in Puerto Rico? Yes. And also it's when we got, try to get a loan in 2021, when we moved here, it was impossible. So we just paid cash because we're like, forget it. Let's just pay cash because uh, it just, it just took forever to get one. Right. And that's what we did, but everybody was trying to move here and everything else. So now it's not. It's uh, the best time to do it because, or the better time to do it, I should say, because nobody, not a lot of people are want to move here. And also I just saw that uh, they are recording record, recording record, no. They are processing a record amount of Act 60 uh, people who are revoking it because they say it's not worth it anymore, which is that duh. So Act 60, we did a video on this take a look it's in actually it's in dandy's crypto or just put in puerto rico digital asset news it should come up and i talk about why i moved here and how act 60 works for as far as like capital gains taxes and things like that but you have to remember like on this year i'm not gonna make capital gains tax next year probably not either so the plan 
it takes a while. And that's just how it goes. Now, as time goes on, bull runs return. And then, of course, I won't have to pay capital gains tax and be like, oh, you're so lucky. No, I'm not. I worked my tail off and I made the hard choices and the sacrifices now. So um, that's the answer to your question. You can get a home loan. Okay. Let me see if I can do this now. See you, Des. Adios. There you go. Great. Gary's a moderator. Okay, I'm done. Life is complete. Uh, yeah, Swamp Witch has got a good point. Joshua, watch a few tutorials, then send a, send, send a tiny transaction test whether you got it right, then move off exchanges. And I still do this, actually. I know that uh, Binance just moved like two billion worth of Ethereum in one transaction. No, no, not Ethereum, excuse me, Bitcoin in one transaction. They're like, yeah, that works. Just send it. I don't know what that is, Jit. If you can copy and paste, you can use a wallet. Yeah, very true. Ron says, circuit user capitulation. I have to agree. Yeah. Zach says, would you ever be interested in doing a Ledger algorithm video? Absolutely. I'll do that. I'll put it on my, my list of things to do. Dr. Payne says, the self-directed Roth will give you the same benefits as moving to Puerto Rico with more options of where to live. Max out IRA and 401k. Do rollovers from IRA and 401k in the self-directed Roth. Uh, there's a time frame, though, of course. Depends on your age. 59 and a half is when you start to uh, withdraw. You can take loans against it, I suppose. But not for sure. <laughs> and that's it. Cisco, this is a good, a good quote. When my friends tell me, oh, you're lucky to have a nice house, I say, luck and nothing to do with it. I suffered for decades working in my mostly crappy jobs, probably living below your means and uh, not spending frivolously. It's a very simple process. It's just hard to do. All right, everybody. So that's it. So look, if you like today's video, uh, do me a favor, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Maybe YouTube will uh, notify you. I'm not for sure, but that's all. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.